Breach that door. Aye, aye. Detonator set. Clear. Fire in the hole! Clear. We're in. Watch that door! There he is, outside the shield. Delta Lee, assign 07 to sniper position. We need a target on Sunfac. With Republic Commando now re-releasing on Switch, I thought this would be a great time to make a short video about my favorite part of the game. In Star Wars Republic Commando, you're the leader of a dynamic four-man team, Delta Squad. Consisting of Scorch, Ooh, eat plasma, you stupid droid. Fixer, so much for stealth. Sev, oh seven is now in your vicinity and remaining covert. I'm sorry, caution. Oh seven, locking into your hut, sir. And boss, that's you. You are thrown into different scenarios throughout the Clone Wars. It starts action-packed. We'll get to my favorite part, but first, a short preface is needed. The first third of the game is set on the planet Geonosis. The very first mission introduces you to your squad mates. Blasting through a Separatist factory, you coordinate, seek and destroy. All the while being accompanied by the light-hearted banter from your personality-filled teammates. Seb, how many kills you got today, Psycho? With a new wise guy. Keep this calm clear, you two. Calm down, Fixer, just having a little fun. Their differing personalities results in some real charming exchanges. You get accustomed to being a four-man kill team, and the gameplay lends itself to your teammates having your back and you theirs. There is a short part where you get to test your solo abilities after being split up, but soon enough you're back with your squad. Now for my favorite part. At about two-thirds in, the squad is assigned a mission that has you investigating a derelict Republic assault ship in space, which has suddenly reappeared. An acclimated class Republic assault ship under the command of Captain Martz. The prosecutor was our first home. It starts with you and your squad being briefed on the mission, nothing new, and off you go. Each member being launched off into one part of the ship. Your advisor is giving you intel whilst you approach the ship, but is suddenly cut off as soon as you start entering. Your teammates are still in your ear, however, so you're good to go on that end. Can any of you get through? No signal here, sir. Seven out. It's all white noise on my end, boss. Six two out. That's a negative, squad leader. Four zero out. And you all decide to just go ahead with the recon mission. Your schoolmates all check in. Nothing to report. Then some interference from Scorch. Uh, this is six two. I'm getting some interference on my visor. Wait, now it's gone. Strange. And you find dead clones scattered about. And then this. 6-2 again. I'm getting that static again. Stronger this time. I can hardly see. Wait, what the? 6-2. Delta 6-2, can you hear me? Report. Get off me, you frowning bag of bolts! 6-2. Eventually, you find a live clone. Happy to see you. Telling you. Hey, you're a commando. Thank goodness. What happened here? I'm not sure. I was uh, scanning the maintenance corridors when I heard blaster fire. By the time I got to where the noise was, everyone was dead. So you came to the torpedo bay to hide? No, sir. I was trying to uh, launch a torpedo and, and alert the Republic. But you're here now, so no need for that, eh? Look Thanks out. for the rescue. <laughs> Throughout the next part, there's scattered blaster fire. Go, go, go! And you realize that there's something worse than scavenger droids aboard. Ah. We've got some trooper casualties here, Deltas. From the looks of things, there's something worse than droids on the ship. With this much going on, the squad decides to try and regroup. So you and Delta 07 make your way to a rendezvous point. Should be a viewport near you. It doesn't go as planned. Ah, oh, there you are. Give me a minute and I'll join you. 
Just have to slice this core for the sensor logs. That did it. Now I'm... Hold on. Got some static here. Sev! Can you read me? Uh, come in! Come in, Sev! Blast! 46-2. Come in. Be on the lookout for armed hostiles. I think we've got Trend Oceans. They've taken down Seven. Delta Squad, come in! You're 3-8. Corey. Keep an eye out. Need you at the ground. Now, after this, it's all blasting and stabbing your way through the infested ship, which has now erupted into chaos as all the Trandoshans and droids aboard are out for your head, while you also need to find and rescue your squadmates at the same time. This first part of the mission is just so good. It is masterfully executed, and the tonal shift is so very markedly different than the previous missions, and is done very well. Listing the horror elements, or tropes, if you will. First, it starts off just normal and lighthearted. Nothing really signifies that you're about to embark on a completely different mission in terms of atmosphere. It gives a false sense of security. Second, the classic losing contact on the comms. First with the advisor, then with the distress call by Scorch. You've always been with, and you always rely on your squadmates. Having them taken away is jarring. Powering up. Target area in view. Let's use this clear line of fire. Ah, target practice. Third, finding dead bodies scattered. Fourth, finding a survivor just to have him killed with a real interesting scream. What a waste of good genes. Fifth, seeing glimpses of the enemy or the monster if this was a horror movie. <laughs> Lastly, the big reveal where your squadmate is taken down in front of you and you lose contact with your other squadmate. And then you're attacked by the actual enemy, being all by yourself by now. This abrupt end to the camaraderie, chatter and safety in numbers you've felt for all of the first third of the game is very sudden. The first time I played this, I wasn't expecting such a tonal shift. And it was a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. An elegant weapon for a more civilized time, huh? Well, guess what? Times have changed. So, if you're looking for a completely different Star Wars game, this one is an oldie, but a goodie, and I'd really recommend you to check it out. And now, for the ending, I'll just let the main team play. It's quite something. 